What is up guys? My name is Mark San Maria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to RC Vlog. Oh man, we got a busy day today. I got a whole bunch of stuff. With all this daylight going away, the daylight going away early, it's hard to record after work. But I'm going to try it today. But check this out. Check out all the stuff I have to do. Oh man, look at the rides. Look at the rides. Oh, the black and white squad. Oh, check this out. This happened today. Not happy about this situation. Um, this is not a good situation. Me and Melissa went to lunch today and she did that. Oh, it makes me so mad. She swung the door open and hit something. Ah, freaking lunch. All right, on to what we have to do. We gotta get this car ready. This car is the slash four wheel drive. We, I remember I opened this last Christmas as an intro into the RC hobby. I'm giving it away. I'm actually giving it to the Stephen Dunifin Benefit race, they're gonna raffle it off, it's up there. I got to bind it to everything and get it all ready to go. It's gonna come with a battery and charger. It's going to a good cause, but we are giving that thing away. I gotta get my splack, splack spec slash ready for this weekend because it's gonna get crazy. There's gonna be a major spec slash race this weekend. I gotta get Ethan's car, I gotta get him a new ESC, which here's his new ESC because he blew his ESC last time he was at the turf track. Just got done soldering the EC5 connectors on the battery that was an EC3 battery. Got all my solder stuff out. I had a wheel that was all unbalanced on my TRX4. I had to fix that. I had to take the foam out, unmount the entire wheel and take the foam out. Hopefully I fixed it. I'm about to find out now. And I want to drive that guy. It's been a while since I drove. I just want to go to the field and rip. So I'm about to charge some batteries and go rip. Lots of questions on the giveaway Techno SCT 410. It's in there. All the stuff's in there. I brought it with me to the last race. Didn't see anyone to give it away to. I, I'm just going to bring it to me with races until I run into someone that needs it. So it is going to get given away. I just haven't given away yet. All right. We are back in the garage. I did get to rip my Haas. I drove my Haas, but there's a reason why I drove it. I wanted to test something. And I wanted to test something that I'm going to show you guys today, which this could be a game changer for, for the RC. I mean, maybe all of us need this stuff. But check this out. It is called RC Body Armor. It goes around the edge of your body. Look. See? This little rubber. Basically, it's like a rubber bumper that goes around the edge of your body. And what it does is it keeps it from splitting. It actually add, adds a lot of rigidity to your body. It's supposed to make it a lot tougher, make it last longer. Uh, there's a guy that I race with. Uh, his name is Brent. He has been running this stuff uh, for a long time. Actually, he used to use Fuel Line. Um, then he actually got some stuff made. Uh, and this stuff is it's pretty cool. I saw it on his car. I thought it looked really good. A couple of guys put it on their car this is at the last race. I was like, hey, I want to put on my Haas, put on my Haas. And it's solid. It's super solid. It won't come off. And I just got done ripping. I had some really gnarly wrecks and it's perfectly fine. So I'm going to show you guys what it is. It's this stuff right here. It's basically just like a rubber bumper with a slit in it. And you can slide it onto a body. So this is my Haas body. Looks pretty cool. I am going to put this over here. I'm going to do this body. I'm going to do my X Max body. This is a huge body. Um, but I'm going to do it because I'm running it at, I'm running it on the track this weekend at the Stephen Dunifin benefit race. But essentially what you do is you slide it on there just like so. And yeah, it's just like a rubber bumper reinforces your body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install it. The way you install it is you slide it on there the way I install it is slide it on there and then you run a little bit of CA glue along the, the crease, like the slit where it, where it opens up. And then that will solidify or at least cure. And then I run some, some uh, shoe goo on the back side of it just to make sure it's on there really secure. And I haven't had mine come off. So we're gonna install this. I'm gonna time how long it takes to install. I think the install is the most intimidating part, but once it goes on there, it looks really freaking good. So let me put this thing on. Oh my god guys it turned out so good it actually didn't take me that long it took me 45 minutes i know that sounds long but i ended up putting i needed a new glue bottle i used about a quarter bottle of glue um so this tip makes it a lot easier these are the tips i got from thornhill they're like metal tips that you can put on your glue 
and I put heat shrink around it so it doesn't accidentally pop off because the first time I used it, it did accidentally pop off and it was a nightmare. So these tips will help a lot. So basically what I did is you saw me cutting the body at first. I cut, I rounded all the edges um, because it's hard to kind of get it on the, like the 90 degree edges. So I rounded all the edges and then I kind of just, I put it on there and then I slid, I basically put that metal, the metal uh, nozzle inside the slit and kind of just ran the glue in there. And then after I ran the glue in there, I put just a little bead of glue on kind of the edge, as you can see right here. And then after I had a nice little bead of glue on the edge, I hit it with some accelerator and it dried up real quick and it healed or healed. It cured really, really quick and fast. It looks really good. And then I just put a little bit of shoe goo on the inside. Basically just ran the, the small bottle. These, by the way, those little bottles of shoe goo are pretty awesome. I ran the small bottle of shoe goo, like the head of it, and just kind of ran it along the edge. And then I just pushed my finger on it and made a nice little uh, uh, bead. It's like your, I'm not gonna say it, but it's the stuff that you, the white stuff that you do on the edges <laughs> of like um, wood and drywall. It's called caulk. There, that, that didn't sound so bad. But yeah, turned out really cool. You guys should check it out. All right, so I'll put links to everything I use to apply the RC body armor in my description. Um, basically, you need the glue tip. That's gonna save you a lot of time. Make sure you put the heat shrink around the, the base of the glue tip so it doesn't come off. You need CA glue. I used Accelerator. You don't need Accelerator, but it makes life a little bit easier. If you don't know what Accelerator is, basically it makes your glue, your CA glue uh, cure super duper fast. It's not, I don't use it on tires. I think it makes it might be a little brittle, but for this application, it's perfect. I used, Shugu, which Shugu you can get at Walmart, um, but I have these little small ones because I didn't I didn't think I was out of the big tube. It usually comes in a big tube. I'm sure you guys. Usually it comes in a tube like this. You can find it in the shoe department at Walmart. And yeah, I use this. And yeah, so I talked to the guy. I talked to the guy who sells stuff at uh, RC Body Armor. And he is gonna give all my subscribers 10% off. So I will put a link in the description to RC Body Armor if you wanna try it out. Um, use the coupon code MSN10, MSM10 and you get 10% off. So that, that's pretty cool. So I hope you liked this video guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later guys.